Hello, it is good to be with you again. The Lord has blessed us with another day of His mercy and grace. But I come to you with a burden on my heart, and I want to start this devotion uh, by reading out of Mark chapter 12, verse 28 through 34. And one of the scribes came, and having heard them reasoning together, and perceiving that he had answered them well, asked him, which is the first commandment of all? And Jesus answered him, The first of all the commandments is, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord, and thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, and with all thy soul, and with all thy mind, and with all thy strength. This is the first commandment. And the second is like, namely this, Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. There is none other commandment greater than these. And the scribe said unto him, Well, Master, thou hast said the truth, for there is one God, and there is none other but he. And to love him with all the heart, and with all the understanding, and with all the soul, and with all the strength, and to love his neighbor as himself, is more than all whole burnt offering and sacrifices. And when Jesus saw that he answered discreetly, he said unto him, Thou art not far from the kingdom of God. I want to stop there. There's a little bit more to that verse, but I want to stop there. Here in Mark chapter 12, many had been, had came to Christ and had been tempting him with questions. This scribe had been listening and observing how that Christ had answered them, the Bible said here in the first verse, he had answered them well. So he decided to ask Christ a question. His question was, which is the first commandment of all? And as we read, Jesus answered that we were to love the Lord with all of our heart, with all of our soul, mind and strength and that we are to love our neighbor as ourself then the young scribe he answered the lord and said to him well said master thou said the truth for to love the lord with all the heart mind soul and to love our neighbor as ourself this was his words is more than all whole burnt offerings and sacrifices I want you to understand something about this young scribe. He was a writer of the Old Testament. That was his job. So he understood what the whole burnt offering was about. It was where the animal was given wholly to God. There was nothing held back. They would take the animal to be sacrificed And then the person that was offering the sacrifice would lay their hands upon the head of this animal. If it was a sin offering, their sin would be transferred to this animal and they would be sacrificed and would die in their place. With the whole burnt offering, it was the transferring of one's self over to this animal. It was as if they would be saying, Lord, I give you my whole life, holding nothing back, I give all. He somehow knew that the ritual of doing this could become just that, a ritual. Not an actual surrender of giving oneself wholly to God. So he acknowledges that it is more important to love God with all the heart than to offer this sacrifice and not really mean it. When Jesus saw that he answered discreetly, he said unto him, Thou art not far from the kingdom of God. Christ could have said it this way, Son, you understand what it takes to follow me. You understand that you must please God and that you must give him all of you. And because of this knowledge, you are not far from the kingdom of God. But yet you are far enough away not to inherit the kingdom of God. 
I want to ask you, how far away are you from eternal life, from salvation? Oh, you may know all of the commandments. You may be able to quote John 3, 16, or to say the Lord's Prayer. You may even say that you love the Lord. I knew of a young lady that once said, I'm religious, but I'm not spiritual. Do you know what she was really saying? I have a form, but I don't love him with all of my heart, soul, mind, and strength. Friend, it isn't enough to know the scriptures, to know how to pray or to act. It isn't enough to know the plan of salvation. It isn't enough to have a reverent attitude toward the things of God or to even say that you love God. John 14 and verse 23 tells us that if a man loves me, he will keep my words. Many people have fallen short because they have head knowledge, but have never embraced it with their heart. Oh, how sad it will be to stand before God on Judgment Day and hear Him say, You were not far from the kingdom of God, but depart from me. Can you imagine spending eternity with the knowledge that you were so close, yet so far away? On the night that Judas betrayed the Lord, he told them, The man that I kiss, that is he. He then kissed Christ, turned away, and went and hanged himself. He kissed the very door of heaven, then turned and went to hell. Oh, how close, yet so far away. I'm sorry. How far away are you? Are you right at the door, at the place of surrender? Are you as King Agrippa who said to the Apostle Paul, Almost thou persuadest me to be a Christian. Can I ask you, what are you holding on to that is stopping you from accepting Christ? There's a picture that I saw of a little girl she was standing there holding a raggy old teddy bear. Jesus was holding out his hand to her as if to say, give me your raggy teddy bear. Her head hang low, a tear slipped down her cheek. She didn't want to let go of her wore out teddy bear. But what she couldn't see was behind Jesus' back he was holding the biggest, beautiful, fluffiest new teddy bear that she could ever dream of having. What I'm saying is, when you surrender your wore out raggy life to Jesus, He will give you abundant life here in this life and eternal life in heaven. Jesus Christ died on the cross in your place so that you could be saved. He is not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. Friend, time is running out for you to pray. The Lord is soon returning. Are you ready? How far away are you from salvation? Why don't you make things right with God today? He's waiting on you. Can I ask you, would you pray? Would you bow your head and, and say a prayer with me? Will you do that? Let's pray. Lord Jesus, I come to you today, repenting of my sins. I give you my wore out, O oh, raggy life, in exchange for a new life in Christ Jesus. Lord, come into my heart, and I will live for you the rest of my life. In Jesus' name, amen. If you prayed that prayer in faith, then tell someone. Tell them that you've given your heart and your life to Christ. And can I say, welcome to the family of God. May God bless you today. 
with his great peace. Amen.